Good morning, Trinity Baptist Church. Uh, this morning I would like to go to a psalm that I thought about a great deal when Annie and I were getting ready to get married, which was a decade ago. This year in 2020 we'll celebrate our 10th wedding anniversary. Um, it was one that I thought about a lot in regards to marriage and family, but I think it applies generally to life in the world as well. This is Psalm 127. It says, Unless the Lord builds the house, those who build it labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. It is in vain that you rise up early and go late to rest, eating the bread of anxious toil, for he gives to his beloved sleep. Behold, children are heritage from the Lord, the fruit of the womb a reward. Like arrows in the hand of a warrior are the children of one's youth. Blessed is the man who fills his quiver with them. He shall not be put to shame when he speaks with his enemies in the gate. I think uh, if we just read off the surface of this psalm, our first impression, if we have experienced childlessness or um, the inability to have a child or to find a spouse or to have lost children, it could be pain. Um, but the reality is this psalm doesn't push that pain on us. Uh, life does. This psalm meets us right in the midst of it and says, you know, all the things we thought we had to build, all the things we thought we had to find and accomplish and put together, the Lord knows, and the Lord is building great things, even out of nothing. The Lord is building houses. The Lord is watching over the city. The Lord is giving to his beloved bread and sleep. And uh, we can trade in our anxious toil. We can trade up our trade in our rising early and going late to rest, thinking that we know what we need and we have got to accomplish it. And can instead say, it's the Lord who builds the house. It's the Lord who watches over the city. This this line, anxious toil, reminds me of Philippians 4 uh, and the, the, the part of it that urges us to not be anxious about anything, but in everything through prayer and petition to bring, make our requests known to God, and that promise that the peace of God that passes all understanding will guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. And so I am reminded when I term this Psalm 127, all the things I think I have to build and fix and accomplish, well, unless the Lord builds them, I am laboring in vain. So let us turn instead to faith in the one who certainly will build what he has planned.